Good morning, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I'm out here in the woods again. When I left my car, he said it was 47 degrees out here. And look, I'm sleeveless. The only thing that's keeping me warm is this jacket, gloves, and that's it. pair of pants is like normal <sighs> you know I'm, somebody was saying I'm a doomsday prepper I'm not a doomsday prepper you might call me a survivalist and a camper a doomsday prepper what's the difference of doomsday prepper a camper and a survivalist there's a big difference in every one of them all right, Doomsday Prepper will, will build a, a cave or some type of bunker to live in over a period of time. And there's a lot of scenarios of Doomsday. Doomsday nuclear war. Uh, I lost myself again. Dooms, uh, 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 like a volcano erupt or a uh, natural disaster, a uh, the economy falls, and I see a lot of types of different types of doomsday preppers. Oh, we prep because the, the economy might go down, and food might go up, and we have our own food. Okay, that's a good thing. Nothing wrong with having food or getting ready for something might happen but you know people have been saying doomsdays happen tomorrow and never happens you can go out right now and find almost a thousand shelters that the owners pass away the owners build it and pass away that's their doomsday so all that money they spent to build a shelter to house their family or house themselves and to the doomsdays over with I spent a lot of money for nothing people think I'm a doomsday prepper because I have a lot of stuff most of that stuff was in inherit I inherit a lot of my friends camping gear my friend passed away and he was a doomsday prepper he believed that something is going to happen and he was preparing for it to happen and he was waiting for doomsday and he said he's going to happen on August on such and such day and hey that's been five years ago oh yeah it's going to be coming up I'm like no Andrew you doomsday preppers are just local in the complendy you know, you can prepare, you know, hey, it might have a, a, a natural disaster, a hurricane, volcano, uh, the economy might go up, but there's not going to be you no know, doomsday. There'll be no, you know, it's very rare. It's going to be very rare for a doomsday to happen like that. So that's a doomsday prepper. Oh, yeah, those days are August the 13th. And what happens? Nothing happens. All that money wasted preparing and, and prepping. I'm not a doomsday prepper. I'm more of a survivalist. I can come out here right now with 10 garbage bags and live. 10 garbage bags and a 22 to hunt. Give me about a thousand rounds or less. With a 22 single shot <laughs> and 10 garbage bags, I will survive out here. And also, I'm a camper. All right, so what is the difference from the doomsday prepper to survivalers? All right, survivalers, so yeah, came to plot the word. Sorry about the fuck you kicked it in. Survivalists 
relies on nature to feed them, the woods for shelter, and clothe them. It's like going back in the stone age. Basically, that's what survival is. Going out in the woods with just the minimum stuff, like I got on now. That's all I got. It was a machete, a knife, hacksaw, bottle of water, and some other junk. I could come out here and survive if I wanted to. But just the stuff on me. Well, not right now. Uh, I'll come out more prepared. Because this is 47 degrees. So it's 47 degrees. I can survive out here with the proper gear. If I didn't have the proper gear, I won't be out here. All right. Survivalists rely on the woods for everything they need. Shelter. Uh food you know i can survive out here i got the bayou right around the corner i can fish uh, let's see i can fish i can dig up worms grounds full of worms <laughs> and i can survive out here that's what you call survival and with the less stuff you can go out with when it gets warm and i come out here camping i show you my gear Everybody's like, oh, we'll see your gear. Well, you see it. All right. Now, the camper. What's the difference from a camper? Survivalist in the doomsday. A camper means just go out and have fun with the family or go out camping in the middle of the woods, pick up and go home. That's not survivaling. You bring your food, you bring your gear. So I'm basically a slash survivalist camper. And I'll do I can do both of those if I wanted to. Now, doomsday, I can prep as a doomsday prepper. That's all I need is to get more food out here. If there were a doomsday, I can come out here and just sit here until it's over with. But what kind of doomsday? Nuclear blast? I'm dead. I don't have a built-in shelter down below in some cave. Survivalists? If I survive anything else, I could do it. I got enough food out here to give me at least a month's worth of supplies out here right now of food. So I can stay out here for a whole month with the food I have out here if I wanted to. I can leave right now at my house grab my both bags because both bags I was going to get and make another bag you know one was nothing but food the other bags to haul in with your camping gear and you and all my stuff so I'm just like y'all know I'm not a, a doomsday prepper even though I inherit a lot of camping gear and a lot of stuff that you can use for doomsday but I'm not a doomsday prepper. I don't, I'm not. I'm not going to prep for doomsday. I'm. I'm 40 something years old. <laughs> if doomsday come, why bother? I don't have a family. I choose not to have a family. That's my choice. Because I didn't. I don't want kids. I don't want no kids. <laughs> His mama loved me. Yeah, I didn't want no kids. I want to have nobody who can have kids. That's enough about me. Let's talk about camping. All right, camping is just going out to a park, pull on out your camping gear, camp for a night or two, and go home. All right. So you know the difference from a survivalist, a camper, and a doomsday prepper. Each person, each. Each one is a different, di different thing. One preps for the end of the world. Doesn't matter what kind of scenario it is. He's prepping for the end of the world. A survivalist can be dropped off anywhere in the world and can survive. And a camper, he just goes to a park and camp for a night or two. And that's it and goes home. Camps with the family. 
Boy, these trails are freaking tricky. If you don't know which way you're going, you can get lost out here. <laughs> I'm getting used to my trails now. I'm gonna start taking the flags down. So, just to let y'all know, once again, I'm not a doomsday prepper. I'm not prepping for doomsday because there's no such thing. If it does happen, I can come out here. As long as it's not a nuclear, nuclear doomsday, I'm all right. If there is a nuclear, I'm dead. I'll die of cancer and whatever, radiation. Which is cancer of radiation. And I can survive out here. Like I said, give me 10 garbage bag, a 22, 1,000 rounds, and a proper gear for the weather, whatever, I'm good. I can stay out here for a long time. A long time. And I also want to let y'all know that some of my videos is going to be put on private. The reason why those videos have nothing to do with my camp experience. It's about my friend who passed away and I think those are going to be private now. The link is on below. All the ones I'm, I have on private, you can ask for to see them. You have one week to look at the ones I have on now before I turn them off. See right here, this is a trick. A trick trail. I guess got lost at fast. Uh, so you have one week to watch those videos before I put them all on private. All the ones I'm putting on private, and there's like two of them already on private. And if you wish to see them, please say something at the bottom or go to Andrew Bajuri's on Facebook and tell me something there. You got two places you can tell me. Also on Cookie Sean, Andrew Majuri, and on my Andrew Majuri's website, which now is my bushcraft video and stuff I put on there. So don't forget, you got one week to watch them before they go on private. I think uh, the link's below. Oh my red red. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> okay, enough of that. Took my ranger hat. I should got you. <laughs> Don't look at that. All right. Well, this is my. This is the video, and I'm at Hobo. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign out for you. So remember, uh, the, the videos that will be blocked or put on private is gonna be below, all the links. You have one week to, to watch them. If you wanna watch some of those videos that are private now, just leave me a message below. You can leave a message on Cookie Sean on Facebook or Andrew Majuri's Facebook. All right, so I'm on my road, Mama! <laughs>